and hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another what have I done another game of dreadnought fleetlock fleetlocked all right so recruit fleet what does that button do no idea what's going on death man okay fine 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 Play. A few good jobs out there. Right, so let's see what matchmaking gives me. In the last round, I went in for a training match, which was apparently a live match that had no rewards. So this time round, I'm going to fire up matchmaking. I'm going to see what I can see, what I can shoot, what I can kill. You know, generally, whose day I can, whose day I can ruin. Why won't it let me select the Rubik as my lead ship? Not interested in the other one. The Rubik's quite fun to play. Oh, the Rubik even. I don't know. Rubik sounds better. Waiting. Oh, I'm in a match. Right. Okay. Each kill awards your team four points. First team to score 100 points wins. All right. Okay. So good. Ongoing war created an insatiable demand for resources. Terraform Callisto became a key supply of materials. Today, the abandoned mines are a paradise for scavengers and criminals. <laughs> Press C to select ship. I want the Rurik. Press space to ready up. Right, okay, so there's only one more person. Come on, Marius, ready up. Come on, ready up, you son of a bitch. Alright, you don't ready up, the battle will begin without you. Dreadnoughts? I don't know. What do you want to be told with this? Action stations, hostile contact inbound. Prepare for combat. Alright. Target spotted, so let's amplify weapons. Does amplify weapons only work for a short time? It must only work for a short time. That's a pain in the ass. Why can't I set that as a permanent feature? You guys are spotting up targets. There we go. Are you there? Come on, then. Where'd you? Oh, you cheeky little bugger! We're getting killed out here. Dive, 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 dive. Oh, come on, then. Reposition. Oh, you took me down, you little shit! Right, okay, it's time to get in close and personal. Right. Increase thrust. Swing it round. Requesting fire at this location. Fusion reactor in 
is overheating, putting energy system offline. Right. Fire flechette missiles. Gauge siege mode, target sighted, fire! Good hit, good hit! Under fire, under fire! Engaging lateral thrusters, reverse, reverse, reverse! Scraping our nose up against the mountain. Rotate. Main gun to bear. Fire! Bad hit. Come on, you fucker! Gotcha! Oh, you son of a bitch, right? Christ! <laughs> that was painful! What the hell kind of gun was that? What the hell kind of ship is that? Particle turret 2. Target sighted, engaging siege mode. Firing for the missiles. One good hit, one bad hit. Maneuvering thrust is engaged. Target sighted. Fire. Target sighted. Firing. Still rearming flechettes, Captain. Come on, fire, you son of a bitch. Whoa, how the hell did I rotate all the way around? Amplifying weapon system. Thanks for the assist. Whoa, target's rear, target's rear. Energy system offline. Alright, Captain, activating. Heavy damage across multiple systems, Captain. Systems drain, Captain. That's it, keep firing over my bow. Holy shit, you can repair? Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah. That same ship, what the hell are you? Energy weapons. Engage siege mode. Ruin him. One hit miss. Oh Christ. Whoa, what the hell? Thanks, Captain. Systems engaged, target sighted, firing. Launch 
approaching Flechette Swarm. Whoa! There's a lot of firepower coming from that direction. Refocus, refocus. Good hit. Jesus. I'm guessing we lost. Yep. So, returning progression. Okay, so I've got some cash. Scoreboard. Okay, so. Okay, fine. Uh, return to outpost. Right, there we go. So I doubt that cash is going to be able to buy me anything new yet. But apparently that is... At the very least how you progress. Welcome back, Captain. So, free XP. Kish. GP. So, tech tree. Uh, Jupiter... Cerberus. So, Rurik 2. The Tigrin. Research requirements not yet met. Okay. What? Alright, oh, okay. Back, back. I am. Um... What are you? Not enough currency. Is that the ship that was ruining my day? That is. So I was having my day wrecked by someone who spent cash on this. Okay, so. Rurik. So I've got 555, so what can I do? Siege mode one. Oh right, okay, I've got it, I've got it. I understand now. I can basically, if I research each one of these, I can unlock that. So if I research siege mode one. Right, I've got ya. This makes sense now. Purchase and equip now for 600. Right. Right, I've got you now. That makes a little bit more sense. So how? So if I click hangar, then I go Rurik. Sidney Bay battleships come with four different modules as standard: primary, secondary, internal, and perimeter. Sidney Bay battleships come equipped with primary and secondary direct damage outputs. Each ship's chassis is built around its primary weapon so it cannot be exchanged. In other words, your ship is a giant space gun and everything else is pretty much an optional extra. Okay, fine. So my Rurik now has Siege Mode 1, which is slightly better than what I had before. Next comes flak turrets, flechette missiles, anti-missile lasers, stationary cloak, and that will give me the ability to unlock the next one up. So what was the next one up? The Togrin. So that's the next version up. Which is slightly fancier looking. Whoa, okay. 
which can either go to the Kreshnik or the Vukari. I want to look at the ships. Come on. Just give me the ability. So we've got the Tugarin Muramet. It's getting a bit spikier. A bit deadlier looking. Overall, slightly better. So let's go back to the tech. No. Go back. And then the. Number five is the Sfarog, which really does kind of show off the whole giant gun aspect of it, but plus two thousand on that before. Uh huh. So then we got Netron. Svegora Okta Not exactly the prettiest looking ship, but I'm presuming it has its uses. Back. Oh no, go back to the tech tree. Then we've got Jupiter Arms, we've got the Augusta, Trafalgar, Dover, Trano Ballista, so oh right, these are more artillery cruisers. So there's more than one variety of them out there. Onager, Dreadnought, Dreadnought, Destroyer, Corvette, Tactical Cruiser. So the Augusta is where you need to go if you want to get into funkier stuff. So over here is obviously paid for shit. So this is where I'm looking at the minute. So what have we got? We've got nothing over here. And then we got Oberon. Cerberus. Furia. Uh, was that the one that must have been messing up my day? Uh, turns into that. Or that. Nox. Victus Dread Oof 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 Hello He's got a big grin Look at his smiley face Just alone there He's got a big grin He wants to say hello I'm going to whack your shit And then you've got A few of those Right Okay that's fair enough that is fair! Oh. So for now I'm stuck with my little old Rurik. Oh. Customize ship? Ah, oh, right, okay, so it's just another method to get round to that menu. Ship tech tree? Yep, same way to get around to that menu. Uh, okay, I've had a peek around enough menus now, so I'm going to leave this episode as is. And I'm going to jump straight back into another match. So thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Ta-ra for now!